Thanks for. So I do see four people, four people connected today. Um, so um, the plan is to uh, go forward without uh, lectures only through practical, uh, practical aspects of, of computation and uh, I did send the lecture that uh, would accompany today's meeting. Probably I can quickly, without explanation, just skim through for the con context. But uh, I'll, we'll go over in uh, maybe 10 minutes and then we will move towards uh, practical, practical aspects. So um, before we start, let me ask um if you do have communication software installed and uh, if not maybe while i will be um briefly giving the introductory word you, you can install so let me ask uh, one by well i know that you already has it um yes trin do you have uh, communication software installed And you, uh, when you ask for a community change in SharePoint, you mean the one that you send us the link? Yes, mobile XTERM is uh, if you use PC. I installed in my other laptop. I'm gonna install it in my in this one right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you can you can open it right now, right? Okay, very good. So, um, when we will be starting practical activity very soon, please uh, have it ready to use. So, we will need to uh, do some uh, typing, some uh, some practic practical steps. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, Kristen? I think since I joined late, I don't have the download information for that. Software. But um, uh, you you are using Mac, right? Yeah. So and you do have a terminal uh, application. Correct. Uh, so um, in about ten Sorry. in about ten minutes, it would be great if you have it open, same as you see on on okay. my on my screen. So if you look onto um, applications. Utilities, there is a black square that is called terminal. Mm -hmm. I have it. I just um, so, Janice? Yeah, what up? Uh, nice, nice hearing you. Do you have, uh, do you use Mac or PC? I use uh, Windows PC. Okay. Um, did you... I, you were t uh, telling that you have experience of connecting to uh, Cicast and other supercomputers, right? Yep, correct. Okay. So, if you have your preferred terminal software, you can use it, but it is highly recommended to use uh, MOBA XTERM. So yep, I already use mobile Xterm. Yep. Super, super. Then I think everyone who is connected uh, equipped. So now we can relax and wait for maybe 10 minutes while I will show some slides uh, that you already have in the, in the email. 
but do not take them too seriously. It's uh, just a context, and uh, everything we, we will be doing will be practical things. Okay. So, the there are some books uh, that uh, you may look through if you are hungry for knowledge, but. Uh, if there will be something important, I will share it um, as a couple of copied pages or give instructions. So it's only it's not great. And uh, the lab that uh, um, will uh, this uh, a little bit silly cartoon. Uh, that some of you already are aware of. So, the idea of uh, scientific computing uh, is that um, nothing is done on your personal computer. You use your PC or Mac laptop only uh, as a station to communicate to more powerful computer um, or to a chain of powerful computers. And typically, the idea is that from your um, terminal you connect to remote computer which sometimes is not just one box but uh, multiple boxes you log into central node and the central node distributes the computation task that you uh, you want to go over over other compute nodes over compute nodes and we will use uh, mobile Xterm and uh, Macintosh uh, Mac terminal, but uh, there are some other options, the Venus CP party team viewer Sigwin, which um, gives similar work. Um, mobile Xterm is better because it allows X uh, connection, the graphical information connection. And uh, Today we will um, go over connection uh, protocol and uh, some very basic Linux commands. If you are already aware of them, uh, it, it will be just a little uh, refresher. So, the um, goal of the course uh, in the sense of uh, um, practical skills, so hopefully by the end of the course um, we all will be uh, fluently operating Linux and submitting uh, jobs for computational chemistry software, building atomic uh, models including periodic, like carbon nanotubes because they are so long one needs periodic cells, uh, converting between different formats uh, and um, among standard skills, uh, the um, finding chemical stability, electronic states, uh, orbital absorption, as well as some uh, advanced skills um, looking for identifying ability of uh, molecule or material to participate in uh, charge transfer events uh, and uh, look into reaction dynamics or thermalized uh, molecular dynamics. So, the organization of, of the course, uh, it uh, includes lectures that um, we will either skip or shorten to maximal extent. And in practical skills, we are uh, preparing models. And then we do simulations by using uh, right software on the right uh, hardware and through this modeling one is getting properties of uh, of materials and uh, this course has um, in a simplified way can be summarized as applying right theoretical background through skills to correct molecules and at the end uh, we can practice scientific communications and do little projects and uh, share them with each other 
in form of presentations, uh, so to uh, practice uh, scientific communications. So, what is computational chemistry? It is an uh, a attempt to model properties of materials uh, by explicitly describing molecules at uh, quantum quantum level. Um, so we need to set up um, questions. What is the molecule and then um, how to describe it on, on a quantum level. So if something is uh, being described at a quantum level, um, which is especially related to electrons. So uh, nuclei sometimes exhibit quantum properties, sometimes not, but electrons always uh, have uh, quantum properties. And one uh, needs to recall basic quantum theories theory and uh, set up uh, Hamiltonian. And uh, as a recall, the um, okay, it's here. The quantum, uh, like first step in quantum mechanics, if uh, you are not actively practicing it right now or uh, or doing it in, in the past, is conversion of classical observables such as position and momentum into differential quantum operators. Um, so let me just check if the last line on this slide uh, creates any confusion uh, or, or questions. Does it look natural or a little bit confusing? You? Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Does last line uh, surprises you or it is a natural thing? Sorry, I cannot hear you clearly. Um, does last line on this slide surprises you? I think it's, it's the, no, I think it's from basic quantum chemistry. Good, okay. Yeah. Um, Kristen. It, this does not surprise me. Excellent, no. excellent. Uh, Janice? No surprises here. Huh? No surprises here. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, Trin? I've thought this before. Okay, okay, excellent. So, uh, there are operators with uh, derivatives and it is a standard language. Okay, and... Um, When we go through quantum description of um, a molecule, one of the simplest tasks is to prepare a model as input of positions of ions and as an output to get uh, optimized geometry. But ions, positions of ions, cannot be computed uh, exactly if we do not know details about electrons. So, in order to practice uh, quantum theory for uh, molecules, one needs to formulate so-called Hamiltonian, to formulate uh, kinetic and potential energy, um, which is typically expressed in terms of uh, position and momentum operators for all particles that are involved. And then, uh, through this Hamiltonian, one can solve Schrodinger equation, time-independent Schrodinger equation, which is on the last line. Okay, so 
if the Hamiltonian is known, then one can formulate uh, all operators uh, based, um, there one uses all operators converted from classical to uh, quantum part, and there are mathematical ways to solve Schrodinger equation for any initial condition. Okay, we are done with uh, quantum theory. Now, what is molecule? Um, can you... Um, what is a molecule? include a photon, electron, and neutron? Well, uh, you are <laughs> thinking very deep uh, about, about, more about nuclear physics with neutrons and, and protons. But uh, for chemistry, it's enough to think about positively charged nuclei and uh, two electrons. If one wants to quantify, one needs to um, set up positions of uh, each of these particles. So one uh, selects an origin and then measures the vectors from origin to um, nucleus and electrons. And then one is trying to compute distances between all particles and uh, model the potential energy. So uh, positive charges of the same sign repel, right? Charges of the opposite sign uh, attract. And uh, it happens along the uh, Coulomb law. Uh, Kristen? Can you remind uh, just in a couple of words what is Coulomb law? That be is another product of chart the distance between the two um, divided by I don't remember the dividend. Um, divided by distance distance between them. So if uh, one uh, uh, measures distance between uh, ions and places it into the denominator, it will show how strongly they are attracted or repelled. So since 1 over x is big when argument is small, the particles interact stronger when they're close to each other, right? Okay, good. So uh, one needs to be, like, if you want to quantify molecular interactions, one needs to uh, set up uh, attraction and repulsion between all particles through Coulomb law, and one also needs to uh, take into account kinetic, uh, kinetic energy. The um, kinetic energy is uh, momentum square over two masses, and since we have uh, four particles, we need kinetic energy of nucleus, kinetic energy, and kinetic energy of electrons. And if one places all um, particles in, uh, together into, into the model, all interactions, all kinetic and potential energy, one needs to um, go over all terms that contribute to the energy. So potential energy of um, repulsion between nuclei, potential energy of repulsion between electrons, potential energy of attraction between uh, electrons and nuclei, plus uh, 
kinetic energy. So if one uh, makes all this uh, effort, then there will be too many terms, but uh, group them on uh, on pieces. So no, 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 to, to group them on uh, pieces. There will be um, T sub N is kinetic energy of nucleus, T sub E is kinetic energy of electrons, and uh, we will use uh, upper case P for nucleus and lower case P for uh, electrons. And then V sub NN for repulsion between nuclei, V sub EE for repulsion between electrons, and V sub NE for um, attraction between electrons and nucleus. If you see the denominator of the last line, it has one uppercase and one lowercase uh, symbol, which corresponds to uh, attraction between electrons and, and nucleus. So in this uh, language, the Hamiltonian includes uh, summation of all these five terms and um, all quantum chemistry is solution of molecular Schrodinger equation where we act with this molecular Hamiltonian onto a known wave function that depends on positions of all ions and positions of all electrons and by solving this equation we, we get these wave functions and energies um, yes I probably can use the pointer but uh, I believe we are uh, done skimming through the uh, skimming through the lecture. So let's go to the uh, practical part. So I'm going to show I'm going to show uh, some uh, steps. And let me ask if you do see symbols on my shared screen uh, sufficiently good, or should I? use a little bigger symbols. I can see them well. Okay. It's fine for me. Okay. So, um, if you are registered student with NDSU, uh, please request an account on CCAST uh, supercomputer. We, uh, it will be beneficial to use in this course. Um, but it is not needed today, probably by uh, coming Monday if you, uh, if you have it would, would be great. And I believe uh, Janice and uh, Trin already have it, right? Yes. I don't have an independent account. Um, I just use Russ's account for the moment. Okay, okay. If he permits you, that, that it's okay. This time you may open your your own, and uh, yeah, I prefer to open my own if I can. Okay, and um, Kristen, I'll send you instructions, or you can uh, talk to other class members who already did it. So see, cast uh, okay. computer. Okay, so S S H. Um, this this time uh, this time uh, um, you all will get your own accounts. So uh, right now I'm just uh, as an example suggesting you to use this one temporarily. So please try to type. Uh, this command in your terminal and uh, note that there are spaces so ssh space minus y capital space and then it goes user at and then the address of a computer so i have a question yes so uh, do i put it on the mobile x term or do i Put it in the, the, the terminal I have from WinCB. <laughs> uh, 
uh, on my WinCPN. Uh, it, it will be, if you have MOBA X term, it will be more beneficial yes. to do it. Yes. Okay. Uh, use use um, Venus CP as, as a backup. Yes. So, type something in, in addition. Uh, So after you are, uh, you can type the command pwd. And it shows the uh, path. Uh, so when we are using regular uh, computer facilities, we have file browsers or finder in Mac, where one goes between uh, files and directories by clicking mouse. In Linux, one does it. Uh, by commands so let's go right away uh, there is a uh, command cd so i will send this command because it could be too too long to type. I will send it through the chat line. So um, after you type this uh, command, there should be, if you type PWD once again, it should uh, give you this answer uh, scratch 001 chem 476678 summer. Um, just if you have curiosity, this is done, this is needed um, because the server we are connecting to doesn't have enough memory in the home directory and in this uh, scratch directory there is enough space for us to do some exercises. So please uh, let me know if you are in this subdirectory and if the command uh, pwd gives you this um, path. Janice? Yep, mine looks good. Good. Kristen? Mine looks good. Uh, okay, Trin is typing I'm in and uh, I believe you is also there. Yeah. Good. So now um, LS, which means uh, list. So you do see uh, Dmitry and you because uh, uh, you did connect, uh, did invest the Memorial Day uh, time to just do a little practice. But uh, right now, we are going to open directories to those who uh, haven't done yet. So please try to type mkdir space and then type name uh, that how you want to call yourself, how you want to call your directory. And then hit enter. I will not do it because I already have I already have one. So I do see Janice and uh, Kristen uh, made this directories and uh, waiting for Trin. Oh, I just realized my mistake. Create on my own photon account. No, 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 Trin, please do it in this directory because I want to see your files. When you do something for your own research, do whatever it is uh, acceptable here. I need to see your, your directories. Please go to this directory under this username. Yes, okay, let me go back. 
let me go let me lock out and lock back in i'm sorry Right that's okay. That's okay. So um, while Trin is uh, reconnecting, um, by now you are already aware of uh, like uh, three Linux commands: uh, pwd, ls, and make directory and cd. So already four. Your vocabulary is uh, rich. So. There is command number five, man, which doesn't mean a person, but it is menu. And when you type man ls, it will show the uh, menu what this command means, like list directory content. Yes, I just get into the the, the uh, your terminal, okay. so I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> A little behind. So. Pardon? Yeah, okay, I'm in. Yes, I okay. just need to put them in very quick. Uh, I have a question. Yes. So if I use man. A CD or something. How and then how do I ex, ex, exit from the Q, menu? Q letter Q. Q. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. You see my PUJ, please. Oh yes, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. So we yes. all <laughs> we all are in. Now let's go into everyone's personal directory. So I'm I will go to Dmitri, and you will go into directory with uh, your your name. So after you are going to the directory, uh, you can type pwd, and it will show that you did move to uh, another subdirectory. And um, now we are going to, um, so when we are using computers uh, in a regular uh, fashion, we are uh, opening and editing files uh, for like uh, articles uh, or re reading something. So we use Microsoft uh, Word to edit documents. and. Um, this is very advanced tool for uh, including figures and uh, formatting, but there are ancient there are ancient uh, programs in command line designed with the same purpose: edit, create, and edit texts. Um, why do we need to edit texts? Um, the uh, let me bring let me bring up the uh, figure that we discussed in this uh, shortened uh, lecture. So, in order to describe uh, to quantify molecule, we need to positions of ions in uh, Cartesian space, and those positions of ions need to be recorded in files. So uh, therefore, uh, we need to be able to create and edit uh, files. So when you are in your uh, directory, or when you are in your directory, you can type vi space test.
I will do test one because my test is already uh, healed. So, um, and then hit enter. You see almost blank uh, screen telling test uh, new file at the, at the bottom. And um, uh, let me know if you are inside this uh, screen. Yep, I am. Okay. I am as well. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Trin. So uh, now please hit the letter I on the keyboard. You see that at the bottom line, it uh, after I hit the letter I, it tells insert mode. And after that, you can uh, start typing text. Just uh, try to type something. And after um, you are done, there is a, a combination of keys that will let us out from this text editor back to the command line. Um, this is a little unusual uh, to use this combination of keys, so just uh, stay alert. Um, it may not work from the first time, but later you become professional in, 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 in this. So in order to exit this editing mode, you need to hit the ESC key if your computer has it. If it uh, doesn't, sometimes it is a um, touchpad line that just has symbol of ESC. After you type this ESC, the uh, word insert disappears. And then you simultaneously uh, hit shift and column. And you see the uh, column two dots appear at the left bottom of the uh, of the screen, and after this column symbol appears, one types W Q, and then hit enter. So please uh, let me know if you were able to uh, um, to exit the editor in this way, or let me know if, if it didn't work. Janice? Fine work, fine. Okay. Yep. Kristen? I was able to exit. Super. I am happy. Uh, Trin? Oh, oh uh, Trin, you can I either uh, speak or type. Oh, you didn't hear me? No. I'm sorry. So were you able to exit? Yes. Excellent. Uh, and I believe you was able to exit as well. So let me let me check. Yeah. Let, let me check. Uh, um, so one more command cd space dot dot means going up in the tree of directory so i'm going, going to genius and doing more another command more means show text without uh, editing hello world okay More test, different test text as an example. Mm -hmm. 
typing different text. Okay. Uh, hi, this is Trin. <laughs> Second test on, on May 22nd. Um, so, we are doing very, very well and uh, I'm happy how quick uh, this thing did, did work. Um, we will move to creating actual atomic model, but models, but uh, there is another challenge in um, using Linux that uh, we need to um, be focused and, and, and get alert. So suppose uh, you are close to completion of the course and you did generate some uh, useful and valuable data on this supercomputer. Or the, the photon is not supercomputer, it's just a server. But um, how would you transfer the files back to your mm, laptop or uh, otherwise if you have created some input geometry on your local file how would you transfer it to photon would you please answer i am I'm, I'm sure some of you already have the solution you can use a ftp um, service that connects to the specific uh, server that we're connecting to uh huh Super, yes. Uh, Kristen, does it make sense the, what Janice suggested? Yeah, that makes sense. So did you use FTP uh, services before? I have not used them yet. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll practice. Uh, Trin, how do you transfer files between servers? I forgot about that. Huh? Pardon? I said I forgot about it. Oh, no, not a problem. Uh, uh, so, we are going to practice a file transfer because it is a, a vital skill. So, um, right now I do have, uh, let's say, file test one. And sub, um, before we go to transferring between different computers let's just get acquainted with how to copy file on the same uh, on the same computer so more test one now i can go i can make c b test So after this, I'm going to introduce and show how to transfer files between computers. So this is really, really important. Uh, uh, we may want to open another window of terminal or another tab of terminal or another tab uh, on uh, mobile XTerm. And there you can either stay where you are
or you can create a specific place where you would Then I'm making selection and copying the path. Copy. Go into another window. Paste. Now I'm typing the file that I want to transfer. Test 2, space, period. And then hit enter. So it does answer me for the password. And then it does transfer the file from remote computer to the local computer. So I can uh, open, open this file on the local computer or I can open it with uh, Microsoft Word or uh, another another tool. So if I'm uh, going to um, So if I'm trying to open this file, it uh, tells that it wants to change uh, format, but uh, I am able to, to see it in regular uh, format. So here is uh, what I have created on the uh, remote server, then transferred and opened in the Microsoft Word, or later on if you create data you can open it in uh, Microsoft Excel or Origin or whatever uh, MATLAB, what, what you use to uh, plot figures and uh, process data. So let's, um, let me copy this template into the to my uh, own computer how can I open this port or other software okay um so I, I can open the my test file on my own computer now with more test yes. but how can I open with yes, this, this is uh, you this is legitimate question and I think um uh, everyone is uh, curious about that. Uh, let, let's yeah. check. Maybe, maybe uh, other class uh, attendees 
do have solution. Kristen, how to find the file that has been transferred? I do not have a solution right now. I'm having difficulty copying my file. Okay, okay. Um, then I'll quickly answer to you and then we'll go uh, with everyone to make sure that uh, copying does work. So you, can you please type PWD after you transfer the file? PWD? Mm -hmm. y yes. So what do you see? I see, I see my directory. So can you browse to this directory in, in Word? Browse this directory in what? In Word, in Microsoft in Word. Word. In Microsoft Word. And by the by the way, uh, before you do, it's uh, it's safer to copy test into test test.txt. The Word will be much more happy if uh, tech, if the file is ended with uh, extension.txt. So in Word, I'm just uh, going to file open. File open. Open. And then I browse uh, to the directory which I do see here. Like I see, uh, in, in my case, it, it, it is user skilling, teaching something. So I, I click in on, on directories. So oh, yeah. So I, you, you see? Yeah, I can see it. Yes, I can see the TXT file, yes. Okay. Okay, now... Um, yes. Yeah, good. Kristen, let's, uh, were you able to resolve copying or, or not yet? Yes, I just resolved the copying issue. Okay. Janice, did you resolve the copying? No, unfortunately. Um... Currently, my second terminal is not properly connecting to the SSH um, or the uh, server, so not great. <laughs> okay, so um, you are using MobaX term, right? Yep, I'm using MobaX term. So I have the um, server connection in one terminal, and the other terminal I'm trying to SCP to the uh, specific terminal um, and then try and copying that file from there but right now it's not really working as well as I want it to. Okay, uh, I have an idea what to do. Let me check. So, uh, Kristen is okay, you is okay. Trin, how, how do you do this uh, copying file to the local computer? So, basically... Um, uh, oh, sorry. Janice, just... just I am I, are you okay? Did I'm sorry. You, were you able to transfer file from the server to local computer? Uh, no. no. Okay. I don't. How do I open the local server? Just open one more on the... one more terminal. Uh, let me let me work with Janis first, and then I will will uh, go to your case. Um, Genius, yes. um, I have a shortcut solution, which is uh, not ideal, but it will be quicker. If you share your screen, I will just navigate what, what to do. Okay, understood. Um, give me one moment. Okay, okay. is my screen... Okay, so, um, no, 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 can you please uh, uh, go back where you were in the, in the original? Yes. So, 
First, let's do the trick, the shortcut. Um, so please focus your mouse on the left panel with a list of files. And you yep, do see on there. Uh, under the um, scroll up to wait, scroll up, scroll up, yep. not down, but up. Now you see two dots, two periods with uh, yep. symbol up. Can you click, click in, click there? Symbol with arrow up. Okay. Now scroll up once again. Uh, select this arrow up, scroll up. Scroll up further uh, on, this, on this double period. And now scroll down and find this scratch 001. Click. Find chem uh, 476. Find uh, 676 summer. Find uh, uh, Janice. And just double click on uh, either double click or drag and drop it from here to to your desktop. Just double click on yep. on your test. Did it go there? Yep. Okay. And then in order to read by word, you may want to uh, you may want to change file name to test two dot txt so if, yeah. if, if, if it doesn't have file extension uh, Microsoft Word may panic but if there is a file extension uh, it will feel comfortable yep. just uh, looking at the properties right now it looks like the txt worked yep okay uh, can you it open? looks like I can run it in notepad okay good and uh, I can uh, imagine you have more than one uh, screens right yep okay <laughs> very good very good now let's go to the case of uh, trin um, trin can you please share share yes. your, your screen Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, so, let's do a shortcut first. Same as uh, we did with um, uh, Janice, and, and 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 then yes. and then we'll do um, more serious. Um, yeah, the one that the problem I can find the, the one that I'm in right now on this side. Do you see my mouse moving? Yes, yes, but please move it slowly because there is a little delay. Oh, yes. So click on this uh, human and photon. Just click and check what happens. Oh. The yes here. Okay. Wait, I think I, I opened okay, it like yes. three of them. Yes, yes. I uh, do, do not do anything else. Uh, no, no, we, we should, we shouldn't. Uh, well, you, you can type password if you want, but it, it's not necessary. Uh, but I have the one right here already. Okay, let's go to the next, which is has three home to the home. Yes, that's my home. Okay, uh, please click new session. New session. New session. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I did. Did you see my transfer? Mm, yes, I see. Huh. It's 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 not what I what I, uh, I I was expecting. Try to do okay, but it it may not be what what I wanted. Click OK just in case. Okay. 
Okay, then click cancel. Uh, cancel. Now let's uh, um, go back to the tab number two. Yes. Just type something like ls Type in the terminal, okay, good um, On the left panel, please try this uh, sftp you see that uh, um, if you turn your head, say yes, SFTP, yes, <laughs> super. Let's go to the green, green, green and click. Save as into your desktop or other on the computer. Yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, now uh, we all are very strong. Someone creates the uh, server, we can download it. Thing. Then one thing that may or may not work, uh, and I, I will, will just try to debug it. But if if it will not work, uh, I will just uh, fix it before before next time. So um, I am going to um, to the. Directory where I am connected. By the by the way, um, if you do not type anything a long time, it will be automatically closed. Or system administrator who is Levi Lystrom may automatically close. Um, please do not type anything in next uh, ten seconds. I'm going to declare one of the commands but do not do it right now so if you type exit and then enter do not do it now do not do not it will finish your session so when we complete our meeting uh, then it will be time to do it right now we shouldn't okay now um, suppose I want to uh, create hydrogen molecule so I will be typing I will be typing 
the um, coordinates in Cartesian XYZ coordinates. So uh, I'm typing VI and giving the file name and then hitting enter. Next I'm doing I for insert and then I'm typing 2 because this uh, molecule has only two atoms, two nuclei. And then first atom is hydrogen and let's put first hydrogen in uh, 0 X, 0 Y, 0 Z position. And second hydrogen can be in uh, 0 X, 0 Y and 0.9 uh, Z. And then I am typing escape, shift column, right quick. More H2. So it, it did create the it did create the file. Uh, this is a typical, uh, maybe simplest simplest format of um, saving and communicating structures of, of molecules. So uh, please let me. Oh, um, I will just go browse through your directories and see if you were able to create it. Delete uh, files of the <laughs> please do, please do it and, and think twice. So, I like for um, Mac uh, if you the command uh, like next time or or you can find it uh, in the, in the uh, Google just let's not practice rem uh, this delete command before uh, we practice so, Actually, I find what is the command? Okay. Is the file and then? Mm hmm. I'm listening.
So, uh, you can do the So I'm going to uh, marker to the left to and I'm symbol D two times D D D D and the line disappears. And then once again D D and line disappears. And after that I'm ESC. Home, WQ, write and quit. And then I do more. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Um, so, um, one more little skill. Um, if I was I was um, checking with one of the classmates uh, uh, of the of the of this semester about research projects, and I've heard that uh, uh, one of you is interested to do biological polymers that can be downloaded from a PDB database, right? <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. And um, um, right now, you all have created input files in the format of uh, XYZ, which is the simplest and most standard. But um, humans have ambitions. A lot of humans have uh, did have ambitions to be best quantum chemist in the world or best programmer in the in the world thinking that like i can write something better and therefore there are about like 100 codes and some of them use uh, different formats of saving the same information like hydrogen h2 molecule can be saved in a different format so it is not uh, our choice it is just state of the the situation that uh, there are communities who use different file formats and so to say different languages and we do need a translator that will translate files from uh, one format to another one so uh Kristen was mentioning the pdb format which is one of the alternative formats to save information about molecular models so there is a code there is a tool that can translate files between most uh, of the uh, today's uh, formats. And the code is uh, spelled as Babel. B -A -B Input format is XYZ, then space, name of files, space, then minus O, which means output, PDB. And then I type H2 string, and on the extension I will put PDB, and then hit enter. After that I'm doing LS minus what is my 
last created file and I see there is a new file appeared more h2 tdb so you do see it has uh, a little bit different format less uh, recognizable uh, for humans uh, but if you look inside there, there are also three Cartesian coordinates for first atom atom one and second atom atom two and types of atom one is uh, hydrogen type of atom two is hydrogen as well so one can convert files from one format to another one by this command and uh, if you uh, type Babel minus H, I think, yes, it will give a, form, a list of all formats and extensions that uh, this uh, code can uh, cover. You uh, feel that you are on a safe site and you always can translate um, files from one format to another one I think it is a good feeling so uh, please let me know if you were able to convert your XYZ file into a PDB file Janice? yep, got mine to PDB yep. okay, Kristen? yes, I was okay, you? You? Oh, sorry. I could you scroll up? I want to see the command. Where yes, is it? PDP. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, here it is, and I okay. can I can copy it into the uh, chat line. Okay. Control C. So I. Control V. Oh, PDB. Very interesting. Let me let me go to your uh, directory and and check because I, I was uh, converting your file, uh, so it, it should it should work. Yes. Can you type, uh, can you just type more uh, h2.pdb? So it's still working.
whether uh, the body there is a button yes and now type dd oh that's why thank you okay my pleasure my pleasure and hit enter So, um, right, you, did you uh, resolve the uh, question with new version of X quartz? They will appear. They will appear with time. If you were right. if you were doing SSH space minus Y, if you explicitly uh, requested graphical connection by the symbol minus Y capital, it will appear. Uh, were you? So uh, let me ask uh, Janice if you if you get the image like you see. Janice, does it work or, or uh, we need to debug and solve the question? Oh, um, so X Quartz doesn't work on Windows operating systems because they only have a DMG listed on their website. No, no, which no, no, is no, no. wait, 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 wait. If you are using, you do not need X Quartz. If you are on the PC and you are using Mobile X Term, your, uh, the G View goes, you will uh, pop up, will, should pop up automatically. 
So it types g, v, e, w, dot, x, z. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yep, just popped up. Okay. Uh, let me quick see if I can okay. find the screen. Okay, good. Uh, Kristen? If I'm on a Mac, I do need X chords, correct? Yes, but it, it may... Uh, well, if you have the image like the one on uh, my screen, you do not need anything. It, 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 it's likely you have things automatically installed. I don't have the image yet, so I'm working on installing the exports. Okay, okay, very good, thank you. Uh, Trin? Yes, I have it. You have the image? Yes, Good. but I am not sure because I I already installed Gasville or it's come from this. Um. Let's let's use no 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 come from this. no no no. Uh, I I think you, if you typed it in the command line, then everything is fine. If you installed it, it, it is good. Yes. But right now we need it uh, through this graphical tunneling. Yes. You, um, how things are, are going at your side? I just disconnect and try to connect again. So please do not forget to type minus y when you do s s s h. Yes. So we will try to make sure that uh, it works on everyone's side, uh, either today or next time. And as a backup, if uh, if there will be terribly complicated problems, uh, one can install. Um, uh, Avogadro on the uh, personal equipment. Avogadro is a free free software which does the same thing, but it will be a little more complication in transferring files for for them back. And still, there's no window pops out. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so it only shows a four two eight two two two. Oh, four, five, two, six, six. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh... But no windows pop out. Okay. Um, I will think how to resolve it, but uh, right now, um, so that we can go forward, please consider to download and install Avogadro. It has basically the same functionality as Gauss View. And it will be independent on uh, any equipment. It will be on your. Uh, it will work on, on your personal computer. So if you are looking through a browser, So uh, on, online you can find uh, you can find uh, uh, download and install and uh, when it, when it is down in, uh, when it is ready installing it uh, um, when it is done downloading the uh, file and, uh, to, uh, to be... he's downloaded. Uh huh. Yeah, he's downloaded. I'll pay it. Okay. Uh, 
Kristen, how did it go uh, in with Xquartz installation? I just finished the installation and now I'm working to see if I can get the pop up image. So, uh, if things for, for Genis and Trin, you can uh, open the uh, H2PDB molecule and uh, make sure that uh, what we have created by hands can be readable by this uh, graphical, uh, graphical tool. So, it just shows two, uh, two atoms nearby. Yes. Kristen? Yep, I got things. Kristen, has, uh, you, you got this uh, ghost view working? Up, but there's no image inside of it right now. Okay. Um, then, in order to, um, we, we, we do not have time in this online session to uh, resolve it. I'll, I'll try to find and email some solutions. Um, to be on the safe side, please try to download and install Avogadro, same as uh, you is doing. You Were you able to download and open Avogadro? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me open it as well. So then, then I'll, I'll do quick demonstrations in, in both pieces of software and uh, later on we'll uh, try to resolve through one-to-one -one emails uh, how to... I think I, I updated the X course on Monday, then today there's no windows pop out. <laughs> huh, maybe, maybe this up, uh, updating was, was not right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, um, what what we need to do in this uh, graphical software, either um, Ghost View or or Avogadro, is uh, to build and modify models before we start any calculations. So, to those of you who uh, have opened H2 molecule. Uh, so I believe Janice and Trin were able to open it, right? Yes. Okay, so yep. in the uh, Ghost View navigation panel, you do see 
this uh, little symbol that where my mouse is symbol for modify band so if you click on it you can see it yes i see it okay so if you click on it there should be one more window uh, popping up And I think the, the system is just uh, tired <laughs> of too, too, too many activities. Um, did you get the um, new window appearing? Yes, I do. Okay. And uh, in this uh, new window, oh, okay, on my screen it is also appeared. So you can um, click on the first and second atom, then it will give them numbers. And uh, by the way, one can place a bond between them, just click in here. And um, uh, this is only symbol for for advanced uh, quantum calculations the bond order is more observable rather than input parameter but to feel safer you can click and put uh, bond and then you do see a little bar in between that you can pull and move so before we go to actual computation you can modify your model uh, to the bond lengths you uh, believe were you able to do it? Yep. Okay. Yes. And then after you're done you click OK and you can uh, save file under uh, same or new name. File save and then it suggests the file type uh, .com which is a uh, standard type of for uh, gaussian uh, software so file name h2.com you type save um, <clears throat> i will do a few more examples on gaussian and then switch to avogadro so that uh, you and kristen feel feel comfortable so there is a button there is a button that um, element fragment so if you click on element fragment if i wait uh, long enough there appears um, periodic table And one can select there an element uh, that one wants to add into the model. So um, one can play on clicking different uh, elements and build, connect them one after another in a, in a chain uh, until you are getting the um, molecule that you really, really want to have. And um, if the bond distances and angles are not what you originally uh, expecting, there is a, a button uh, to modify distance, and there is a button to 
modify angle. Uh, for this linear chain is 190 degrees but as you go through the bar it starts uh, changing the angle and uh, modify the, uh, the model so with your chemical intuition you can build uh, try to build models of your interest and try to uh, practice and uh, well, I, I did create something silly like uh, uh, three oxygens and two hydrogens, but I can save it under appropriate name. So save. Uh, were you taking longer than anticipated? Okay. Okay. I I, th um, I will just do some quick demonstration, and uh, I think um, we are already using all of our scheduled time. So um, when when installs the uh, Avogadro it looks this way and on the top left there is a symbol of pencil draw to and then there is an element so you select uh, like oxygen click click and then there is a um, is it? Can be draw. there is a uh, molecule that uh, you want to have and then you click on this little star that uh, will allow to rotate without modifying bringing for, br forwards and, and, and backwards and then if one needs to uh, modify position of atom one needs uh, selection tool and then uh, click little uh, hand and then just move it uh, as, as, as one wants or there are options to um, select the value um, by which one wants to modify and, and uh, click this apply apply button and then one can file save as H2O2 and then it, it can uh, it supports several formats uh, XYZ that we likes and also uh, Gaussian input and PDB uh, so multiple formats you I think you were uh, away from the connection for a minute hello Oh, sorry, I lost my connection. Oh, not a problem. Just now. Do you have Avogadro? Yeah, no. Do you have Avogadro installed? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you try building some uh, model? Uh, so, um, open it. Click on the this little pencil. Select an uh, okay. atom that you need, like carbon, and then uh, okay. you can keep keep cl clicking. Okay. And uh, uh, draw something. Uh, add more more atoms in a in a chain, and uh, build molecules. Change bond order. Okay. 
so I think you you, you do see uh, this uh, this option. Are you successful? Yes. So if you click on the um, blue star, you can rotate without modifying. If you um, click on the arrow and select uh, an atom, then and then click on the hand, you can just modify its uh, position by, by hand, making it closer, further, uh, as, uh, as you think it is needed. And then just uh, file, save as, um, and just give reasonable name. Mm -hmm. C4H8. Okay, so um, I believe it is more than enough for for the first uh, formal lab. Um, I hope that recordings uh, went well. And uh, do I have your permission to um, record and and share this um, slides as, as as we go with all, all of you? Kristen permitted. Janis? Do recording? Yes. Okay, you do permit recording? Yes. Okay, good. Um, so then uh, I suggest we finish uh, for now and um, uh, let's continue communicating by uh, emails if needed. And uh, if it is not needed, we'll see each other on uh, next Monday. There is no, uh, I, I don't think we need any homeworks or uh, forms of right now. We, uh, can, we can do a little no. exercise later. Yes, I'm listening. Uh, I succeed to open the Gaussian view now. I oh. log out. Okay. And oh. then log in. It works. Okay, okay. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Maybe it's just. Do we tie it? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, so, uh, if you are agree to uh, complete the session, first we may want to close uh, Gauss view by uh, selecting the button exit. And then in the um, command line, if you're sure that you want to exit, you type exit. And then, and then it tells connection to photon closed. Um, are there any questions before we disconnect? Probably is. I still cannot see the molecules, like on Monday. I only see all these windows, but no molecule display. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh, look through my records and uh, check with other students and colleagues. We were resolving it in in the past. But if it will be not resolved, you will just do models with Avogadro. Okay. So uh, you do not lose anything. It is the same functionality. The only disadvantage when we need to transfer files while opening Ghost View immediately, you have files already on the on the on the cluster. Okay. Mm -hmm. More questions? Oh, yes, I do. So, do I need to download the Avogadro if we if we have if, if I am able to use the Ghost View? You do not need. You do not need to. Oh. But you may, if you want to to be. A little more to be a little more independent. If you, um, Avogadro is, uh, doesn't have benefits compared to Gauss, you it's just a uh, safety. Like uh, it's, yeah. it's it's same question. Like, do I need two cars instead of one in my garage? It's cool, but maybe not critically needed. Yes. Okay. Uh, more questions. Uh, I have a question. Please. Uh, so, 
in the avocado if I will, I want to delete a selected item how can I do this uh, click on the button delete if I can, just give me more carbons no 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 uh, let me It did do it. Let me try once again. So I select I select group of atoms and then I push the button delete on uh, on the key. How to select this I item? Because one I click one click on the window, it just show, give me one more carbon. Okay. So uh, do you see my uh, screen? Yes. So there is a upper left selection tool black arrow oh, okay yeah uh -huh. so i choose this black arrow and then uh -huh. make a little rectangle around the group of atoms that i need to select okay and then hit do it okay i got it yeah good yes. uh, more questions Okay, then wishing you a pleasant uh, rest of the week and a uh, nice weekend. Looking forward to see and hear you on Monday. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.